James Rock Show. In that case, it's Mike from the Mike James Rock Show. It's the Saturday afternoon here at Download 2023. And uh, joining us right now is probably the sharpest dressed person I've interviewed all weekend. Oh, wow. Thank <laughs> Lake, you. Lake Malice, how's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, very tired, very happy, and in peace. Yeah? Yeah. You're quite a fresh new band, aren't you? So this must be hell of an experience to be playing download and doing press and the, the, the full experience. How's it been for you so far? Uh, I've been seeing it all day. It just feels like absolutely unreal. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely unreal. It doesn't feel, well, it's just massive imposter syndrome being here among all these artists <laughs> that we, we that every adore. Year. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you got, if, am I right in saying you guys kind of formed during the lockdown? Yeah, we did back in 2021. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We started, we met on Facebook, on a Facebook group or something like oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then That's... since then we started writing long distance. Uh, yeah. So when was the first time you all met up and actually go, well, this could be a thing? Uh, it's when they lifted restrictions. I can't really remember if it was like, it was slightly later than March 2021. Um, yeah. We started hanging out, but we already had some some kind of drafts of songs written when we first met. So it was just strange, like, yeah. But yeah, that was it, that was it. That's, that's crazy how you can just form a band in, in lockdown and because a lot of people thought oh we'll do that I'm going to learn an instrument during lockdown or or make banana bread that's what a lot of people did oh I'm terrible <laughs> at cooking so I never even did that yeah uh, and yeah you, you seem to have grown a full business out of it yeah uh, I, just, I just don't know how it happened it's just uh, it's gone so fast as well since the beginning we just kind of got into you know the world of touring straight away and uh, since then we it feels like we haven't stopped and um, everything that happens to us again is just a massive surprise. Yeah. You've talked to the likes of uh, Shikari as well, haven't you? And, and uh, yeah, we supported them right? on a show in um, oh, Southampton. Swan. Yeah, Southampton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how it, was it that? It was unreal again. Like, you know, we, I've been listening to them since I was 16. I, you know, it just doesn't feel... I saw them a few weeks ago headline uh, Slam Dunk and the stage right. of the show was just mind-blowing. Oh, yeah, so I saw some videos. Again. Oh, amazing. Well, what's the rest of the year got in store for you then? It was uh, very busy, very yeah. good. Yeah, we started uh, with a, a month-long tour with Bloodywood in support of Bloodywood. Uh, oh, cool. Like, through Europe and UK. Yeah, we've been away for a month. We, we've seen lots of different cities and lots of different fan bases, and it was amazing. It was the first time for us, so. Really getting out on the road and Well, in Europe, like, it, yeah, yeah, we've never done that, and it was just, uh, yeah, an unforgettable experience for us. Very big learning curve as well. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah, mm. especially as you're, like I said, quite a new band, to be able to go in and jump straight on someone like Bloodywood, who are, let's face it, they're having a moment this year, aren't they? Are, they? They're yeah. blowing up yeah, super amazing. huge, so that must have been good, and obviously Shikari, so, after download, what are you doing after that? Is there more festivals, our releases? Yeah, uh, we've got a few more shows with Bloodywood actually. Oh wow! Because <laughs> we we just like each other so much. Fair <laughs> we just enough. Let's do more. Uh, so we're leaving like Monday 12, like this Monday yeah. to Edinburgh, then Cardiff, then. Um, Bedford with them. Then week after we're supporting Bended uh, across the UK. That's, that's the uh, Slipknot Kids yes, band, isn't it? Yes, it um, is. Griffin Taylor, is that yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, it is, uh, absolutely. Crown Stone as well, was it? I think so. I think we saw him at Bloodstock last year. They were oh, on really early in, oh my in God. the day. How was that? It, it, it was loud. Yes. That's, that's <laughs> what I remember from it. Besides it being hotter than here, but oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, were, they, they were a good live band from what I can remember. Can't wait to see them. Really excited to support them as well, but awesome. obviously. But yeah. um, what about the autumn? Have you started making plans for that yet? Or is that uh, still under wraps at the moment? I think like there's a few things coming, definitely. So like kind of up in the air, but uh, there's, there's definitely stuff going going on um, touring wise and um, but also you know we, we were working on a, a body of work at the moment uh, okay. that, that should come out this year I mean it will it's just I don't know when this year because we're very well organized when but you say a body of work is that going to be an album or is it just going to be a series of releases it's are you gonna, still trying to work it all out it's probably going to be an EP okay. slash mixtape um, oh. that's what we're thinking of but uh, the, the tracks are there they just need to you know get it all mixed and mastered get and it all finalized it's yeah. all, the, all the stuff that the fans don't see and go like oh, yes, it's so an easy life being in a band what you do is drive around and get on stage oh it's, god no it's not it's uh, not at all it's hard work definitely <laughs> and full like full-time jobs both of us so it's it's really hard to juggle everything but uh, are you constantly writing at the same time uh 
we're learning to do that. Okay. It's, it's something that you have to learn, to, like to keep up with, like you know, writing and everything. But I think like between the touring, the gigging, and uh, releasing music at the same time, writing has not been a massive priority this year. But we started like a couple of weeks back to do that again. So yeah, that's cool. As long as you get your, uh, your yeah. creative juices flowing, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wish you good luck for the uh, Vended tour and the Thank end of you. Bloody Wood as well, and hope the rest of the uh, the, the year is as, as amazing as the first part has been. Thank you, fingers crossed. Had a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Welcome to the My James Rock Show.